When creating a website, content is one of the most important things. One could even go so far as to say content is king. In this video, we will create the first piece of content. Let's go. So here's my cloud project, which I have running on a local host. And what we see here is the default restore page we get when cloning down an Umbraho cloud project. From here, you would be able to restore content from the cloud, but as this is a brand new project, it's empty and there's no need to run the restore. So in order to create content, we need to enter the Umbraco back office. So we can either use the skip link right here, or we can simply add slash Umbraco to the URL like this. And for logging in, we need to use our Umbraco cloud credentials. There we are. And let's log in. Great, we're in the back office. So this here is the content section and over here, the content tree. So this is a brand new and empty Umbraco project. What happens when we try to create content right away? Right click on the content tree and choose create. No, we cannot create any content yet. First, we need to create a document type, which we can then create content based off. Document types can be created from the settings section up here. Document types are the pillars of Umbraco. It's with document types that you define what type of content you and your content editors will create. Now let's create our first document type. Right click or click the three little dots here. Choose document type. So we'll start by creating a home page document type. Call it home page. Then we can add an optional description here. Use this for creating a home page. There we go. And we can also add an icon to the document type. So we'll do that and we'll add a home icon there. Now we'll need to add properties and these needs to go into a group. So we'll create the first group here and call it content. Then we'll add our first property. A property consists of a property editor, which defines what type of data can be entered. We'll start basic by adding a text area, which will allow us to add basic text to our website. First though, let's give our property a name. We'll call this one body text. An alias for it will automatically be generated here. We will use this later on in the video chapter. We can add a description to the property as well. So this will be the main text on the home page. And let's add an editor. We're now presented with a long list of property editors we can choose from. We can go with one of the default existing ones up here, or we can create new ones. During this video chapter, we'll be doing a bit of both. For now though, let's search for a text area and go with the existing one. All right, so we'll submit that property. Now, before we can use this document type to create content, we'll need to allow for content of this type to be created at the root of the website. So this is done from the permission tab up here. And we'll say allow as root. Great, let's save it. And head back to the content section. We will right click the content tree again, click create. And you can see that we can now create a home page. So let's do that. As this will be the first page you will see when you're into the website, we'll call it welcome. And let's add a bit of text to it as well. Uh, this is our very first piece of content. Nice. Okay, let's save and publish. And voila, we've just created our very first piece of content. Now let's see how this looks on the front end. Click on the info tab up here. Here you'll find a direct link to the published content. We now see a blank screen instead of the default restore one we saw earlier. This is because we have content, but we have not yet set up a template to render our content. In the next video, however, we'll be doing exactly that. We'll set up the front end for the homepage. So that was it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.